Hello, and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 103. I'm your host, Anton. We have with us today a guest, Hayden. Welcome, Hayden. Uh, happy Friday to you, Anton. Happy Friday to you. Um, well, um, as you know, we only spend five minutes at this, but today we are going to try and squeeze three small tips into five minutes. Um, a bit of a challenge, but I think we can do it. All right. Well, I'm going to add my screen, screen, share my screen, and kick off the timer right away and introduce it and get people off to lunch. So here we go. Five minutes. Um, I have this, this uh, report. And you can see this description column can get quite large. And it could be much, much bigger than this. Uh, I, I mm -hmm. often want to make it shorter. Um, so, yeah, maybe uh, cut it off at a certain point and replace it with an ellipsis. Right, so exactly. So after a certain number of characters, I, I do just that. So I've got this in my query right here, this short description. And basically, if it's 30, if it's greater than 30, I trim it off and I put in a dot, dot, dot after the first space. So I find a space above that and I put in the dot, dot, dot. So I apply this solution all the time for the, for the same problem. The downside is um, now when you search that column, uh, the, uh, the string um, past the ellipsis is no longer searchable. So if I search, for example, record is what you're saying, is you would think I would only get this one. But look at this. I also got this one. Because this but, one, as it turns out, also plays records. Huh. So, so what magic um, have you wrought for this report? Exactly right. So this is it. So the thing is, the co what display what is displaying here is that short description that I showed, but the actual column is the product description. So the 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 short one I hid the product mm. description. I'm really using the full product description, but I've got short description right here. That HTML expression column formatting is so useful. Yeah, and a lot of people forget that, that it's still going to search the whole one here. Um, anything else you like in this report? Well, I, um, I, I think you, you've applied similar magic to the category um, column. That's right. So the category, I can search for audio or whatever it might be, but I show this. So I think it's well, a, cool little, a cool little way to do that as well. Um, brilliant. So right. that's tip number one. Uh, slide into tip number two related to search as well. So... Um, if I were to ask you, Anton, to search for uh, CD, DVD, all in at, like with a space between. No, there's nothing that's got a CD and a, CD and a DVD both. Uh, well, let's, let's try that again. But this time, uh, I want you to tokenize it. So CD first, and now DVD. Oh, yeah, so, there is one. Uh, if you are lucky enough to be in Apex 22.1 or above, which you are, Anton, you have the ability to set a parameter at the, at the application level, which will fix this for you. Because all of our users are habituated to be able to search for multiple strings at the same time. So yeah, uh, right there in the middle of your screen, you see tokenized row search. And so you just toggle that on. All new applications will have that automatically turned on. And now you and just have to hit... And now as a consequence, you can search for CD, DVD in one search, and it will work the same way as if you'd had broken it out into two. Oh, look at that. And so I see no downside to always having this on. Um, uh, there might be a small performance hit, but n not none that I would be concerned about. Yeah, and, and what's, what's going to happen if you don't have this turned on is they're going to do it this way one time, and then they're going to come back, and they're going to they're tokenize it themselves. And yeah. um, Great. Um, uh, I think Hayden's, at, uh, uh, Neil, she's asking about the download. I don't know. I just use the wizard to build this thing. I don't <laughs> uh, uh, but um, this last column is another one that I'm going to, is interested in. This uses the since operator. Um, this is the third tip now. Yes. Tip number three. Uh, so, uh, yes, thank you. Um, so uh, the, the since operator, and that's great, but I want to show it in a different report because the report I want to show it on here is recent page views. I do this all the time. I come into, it's the, um, you know, monitor activity, recent page views. Um, yeah. And same column since. But Hayden, I, I actually want to know when this happened. I don't want three minutes ago or four days ago. I want the date and time that this happened. Any thoughts? Right. Well, I mean, if this were a, um, an actual report, you could change the formatting. Um, unfortunately, you can't because it's the builder. Um, maybe you could find out the underlying tables and check out their audit columns, but that's a huge hassle. 
And I think most people do that. I think that's exactly what it would be. But what you can do here, data compute, then you just have to say, okay, this, I want my date and time. I want the format mask that actually gives me date and time. So I'm going to pick this one. And then I want the date column. It's going to do it for me right there. That it's taken this date column and it's turned it into a date and time. Your end users can do this in a report like the one that I just showed here. You can do it inside the builder wherever you can compute. The interactive report is a powerful tool. Um, I love it. Yeah, great. Um, so Fernando uh, Jimenez mentions the Uline, Uline clamp class modifier. And I do sometimes use that. It, it doesn't give me the, the kind of um, control that I, I sometimes want to, to specifically do it after a space and so forth. But that, and that class modifier is one that Hayden and I talked about exactly before deciding to add this into this tip. Um, it, it doesn't do the portion, um, the category one, at least not that I know of. Um, right. And there are, there are other ways to do this as well, but um, this, this works for uh, showing the description. It works for um, your, uh, yeah. all this kind of thing. Sometimes, um, yeah, sometimes the line break isn't the, always the location where you want to put the ellipses. Yeah. And the other thing I'll point out, if these were clob columns, they could be really huge. Mm -hmm. And if you brought back all of the whole column every time to the, to the screen, you can actually be bringing a lot of network traffic that you could avoid this way because we're, we're actually not bringing everything back to the page. If you search the, the source of this page, you're not seeing 5,000 characters worth of data for each one of these or something like that. So it, it there are use cases where it may make sense, use cases where it may, may, may not make sense. Um, right, right. So, um, but it's a, good, it's a good modifier to be uh, aware of. Um, so I do think we hit that in five minutes, three little tips in five minutes. Uh, so what do we have here? Uh, not download should download the whole description, not the shortened one. Oh, that's well, what you the report. Ah, when you download the report, you want to show the whole description, not the shortened one. Hmm. Well, I suppose there is the ability you could um, you could have another column. Um, well, the CSS approach would solve that. Yeah, right, right. So there are definitely options. You could you could actually have that product, a, a third column that shows the whole if you wanted to um, to download everything. Um, yes. Um, so uh, Hayden, um, often we have other uh, content, but I'm pretty, uh, pretty limited today on mine. I'm going to call out uh, an XKCD that I saw oh, a little while ago that I thought was interesting. It's uh, XKCD 2730. Um, I'll pop that up on my screen so folks can just uh, can, can take a look. And if they want to go out on their own and watch it, that's fine. Uh, but uh, here we go. Here's XK. It's if, how to ensure your code is, uh, lives forever. Um, I don't think we've shown this one before. I don't think we have. Um, it's a so, good one. So um, that's all I have today. I think people can get off uh, early for lunch. Uh, I wish everyone a good weekend. Uh, like and subscribe on your way out. Oh, that's right. All those things. Um, see you next week. <laughs>